Cockpit in Court Summer Theater has been entertaining Baltimore audiences for more than four decades. With us on Smarts is Artistic Director Jim Honeycutt to talk about this summer's exciting season at CCBC in Essex. Good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you, Carolyn. Thank oh, you. Dear old friend, good, good theater. I mean, you've You've kind of done every aspect of the theater, right? You're, you've been on stage, yes. you've directed, you are managing the theater. I mean, really, uh, every aspect. It's 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 been an experience. Uh, yeah. The only thing I haven't done, I would love to, is learn to have played the piano. Okay, well, yeah, there's still time. There's still time. <laughs> and then you could have sang for me. Yeah, I would love that. So. I mentioned that it's been more than 40 years that, yes. that uh, Cockpit and Court's been in existence. That's a long time. Especially for theater. It is, it is. So what do you attribute your success to? Uh, I, I think the, one of the major reasons that we succeed is because we really are trying to reach out to the community mm -hmm. and give them something that is as close to a Broadway experience as they can get without having to leave the state and right. not spend the money that you would to go to New York or go to a professional theater company. Right, right. So I, those are all very practical reasons. Mm -hmm. I've been to many of the performances and I'm always wowed by the high professional quality of it. It's Thank really you. terrific. So that's another reason I'm gonna add to your list of why it's yes. lasted so long. And that, and that because of that, we do attract people that just have a love for it and want to perform and, and fortunately we get excellent performers. You do. Well, fortunately Baltimore has a lot of great talent yes. and, and uh, some of these performers whom I know personally, I know you do as well, um, had been in New York and yes. decided that they missed Baltimore, wanted to come back, be with their families, closer to their friends. Mm -hmm. So you get this great mix of some New York quality, um, I think, performers. Yes but coming back. So t talk a little bit about the performers and how you're able to attract such yeah. great talent. We have a whole committee that actually pulls the seasons together trying to figure out what shows will attract performers, audience, and, and basically pay for themselves. Right. And we do think about who we know in the community that is around so that we can put on shows that hopefully are newer, they haven't had the chance to do. Right. Especially if you're in New York and if you're not a main character or an understudy, you might not ever get a chance to do Absolutely. some of these roles. Right. So right. it's a chance to come to and, do that. We, and we go all out for it yeah. so that they're getting an experience that they're very proud of. Yeah. There's some real favorites as far as performers and directors backstage. Do you want to list a couple names? Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll get in trouble for the ones oh, yeah, I leave okay. out. <laughs> um, one that we've had do a lot of shows recently is Tom Wyatt. Yes. Uh, he, of course, was in New that. York and, and choreographs as well as directs. Uh, right. He also costumes. It's amazing the things that you learn. Sure. Um, We've uh, we've had a, a director, John Desmond, sure. when we did Hairspray, which was the premiere for this area. Yeah. He came in, he's been working in Baltimore for 40 some years. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, we have f uh, performers, um, my wife, uh, Liz Boyer yes. Honeycutt, Shannon Wallman, right. uh, Eileen Keenan, people that have been doing it since they were 16 to 18 years old, still involved. Yeah, yeah, well that's, that is terrific. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this season. I've got yes. your brochure here. It looks, it looks like another great winner. Uh, we're excited. Okay. I, I think we've covered the entire realm with this season. Okay, why don't you just start us with, I guess, a great show, big uh, Tony Award winning show. Yes, we're opening with Avenue Q. Um, it is, you would think it's a family show because it's kind of like an episode of uh, Sesame Street. Right. But it is a, a, an adult version of Sesame Street. It c contains some language and, and situations that we recommend not for children. Okay. But you get to see the true puppeteer form of yeah. art uh, taking place. You meld between actors and the characters that are real and aren't real. Yeah. And, and it's a comedy and a coming of age story told in such a funny, unique, unique way. way. It was a really groundbreaking musical. Very groundbreaking. I, I remember when it, when it came out. Okay, and then we've got some great things for the young, younger yes. female set maybe, or male set too, I don't mean to be gender <laughs> specific. But you've got The Little Mermaid. We have The Little Mermaid. It is the full Disney production. Wow. If um, I saw it in New York when it ran in New York and we are trying to live up to those expectations. Fantastic. So they will see Sebastian and all the characters they expect to see yeah. and uh, in a full stage. Oh, that so is that's one of our advantages as well, is you have a 
full stage and we don't have to pare down the shows. Right, right. Okay. So, and then tell me about the other. You have two other. Yes, we're doing uh, two plays. Yeah. Uh, one is a comedy, Neil Simon's Laughter on the 23rd Floor. Okay. Kind of about his time when he was growing up becoming an, a writer of himself on the Sid Caesar show. Mm -hmm. And then um, one back a little bit older that was written in the 70s called Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean. A little bit more of a darker comedy, but it's still a fun show. Yeah, right. And are those are those also done in your big main stage theater? No, those are actually done in a cabaret space we Which have upstairs. Great. And yeah. it's theater in the round, oh. so you are no more than 30 feet away from the actors. Right, right. And we find our audiences really love that. They come, they have cabaret tables, they eat, they oh, drink, yeah, yeah. and they feel like they're part of the yeah. show. All right, so if folks want to find out more about, the, you know, if they can't remember all the season, yes. you know, and everything, they can go online. Onto our webpage. Yeah, and we'll put that up. And also, um, are you ever looking for people to get involved, to volunteer, to we help, to donate money? We always are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, uh, we're always looking for, I mean, we hire people from colleges just trying to get started yeah. into the field. We hire uh, anybody that we can to make the shows happen. We get volunteers that work on shows. Yeah, okay. And, right. and a lot of kids start in our theaters. Right. Well, I will see you. I'm going to be there. Absolutely. I can't wait to see Avenue Q and some of the other shows as well. Jim Honeycutt, always good seeing oh, you. It's a pleasure, Carolyn. Right. I appreciate it. You bet. Well, I'm Carolyn Blacksotier, and this is SMARTS, the Baltimore County Arts and Culture Show.